Here we are going to learn octal multiplication. The basics of octal multiplication is covered in detail. So without doing any delay, let's do the octal multiplication. Here we have these two octal numbers which we are going to multiply. In order to do multiplication of octal number, we are going to multiply each digit of multiplier with multiplicand. So let's start with the least significant bit of multiplier. Here the weightage of octal number is given for our reference. Here we are going to multiply first digit of multiplier with the first digit of multiplicand. So here 6 which has a weight of 8 raised to 0 get multiplied with 7 which has a weight of 8 raised to 0. So their multiplication we get as 42. 6 7 is 42. And the multiplication of their weightage is 8 raised to 0. So the importance of this weightage is we are going to write this answer in 8 raised to 0's place. But if we write this 42 here directly, will it be correct? No, it's not. This number is decimal number and first we need to convert this number into octal number. And then we can proceed further. So now here let's understand this conversion quickly. This is 42 in decimal. And this is the weight of both the number 4 and 2. So ultimately it is 4 into 10 raised to 1 plus 2 into 10 raised to 0 gives us 40 plus 2, 42. So this is how decimal number forms. Now we are supposed to write octal equivalent to this decimal 42. So for that first of all we will write the weightage of octal number. Here it is. So using this weightage we need to write the octal equivalent number to this decimal 42. So we write this as 5 into 8 raised to 1 plus 2 into 8 raised to 0. So 8 raised to 1 is 8. So 5 into 8 that gives us 40 and 8 raised to 0 is 1. So 1 into 2 is 2. So 40 plus 2 gives us 42. So this form 5 in 8's place and 2 in 1's place is actually the octal equivalent to this decimal number. So we'll write 5 in 8 raised to 1 or 8's place or 2 in 8 raised to 0 or 1's place. So this 5 2 is octal equivalent to this decimal 4 2. So now we go back to the multiplication. But yeah, one more thing. If you find this explanation of octal to multiplication useful for you, then just write yes in comments so that I can have feedback about my explanation. Because your feedback is really very helpful to improve my explanation quality. So please do give your feedback in comments. And now let's go back to our octal multiplication. So here this 52 or 52 is octal equivalent to this decimal 42. So in this case this 5 will be our carry to the next column and 2 will be the result of our multiplication. So this 2 result of multiplication we are going to write at 8 raised to 0's place which is this one. So we will write this 2 over here and this 5 is carried to the next column. So we will write this 5 over here carry into the next column of our multiplication. So the multiplication with first digit is over and now we will multiply this 6 with the next digit of multiplicand. So now here 6 which has a weight of 8 raised to 0 get multiplied with 1 which has a weight of 8 raised to 1 their multiplication will be 6 and the multiplication of their weight will be 8 raised to 1. After this multiplication see over here we have a carry so let's add this carry in this multiplication so 6 plus 5 gives us 11. Now this 11 is decimal number so we are supposed to convert this 11 into octal number. So let's do it quickly. So 1 into 8 raised to 1 plus 3 into 8 raised to 0 is 8 plus 3 which is 11. So it's octal equivalent we can write it as 1 in 8's place and 3 in 1's place. So 1 3 will be octal equivalent to decimal 11. So here 1 will be carried forwarded to the next column and 3 will be the result of our multiplication. So where do we place this 3? We'll place this 3 at 8 raised to 1's place or simply we can say 8's place. So we'll write this 3 over here. And 1 will be carry forwarded to the next column. And now we'll multiply this 6 with the next digit of multiplicand. Here also our process will remain same. When this 6 which has a weight of 8 raised to 0 get multiplied with this 5 which has a weight of 8 raised to 2. We get their multiplication as 30. And the multiplication of their weight will be 8 raised to 2. 
now here after this multiplication we have one as carry so we'll add this carry into this multiplication so 30 plus 1 gives us 31 now this 31 is decimal number so we'll convert this into octal so 3 into 8 raised to 1 plus 7 into 8 raised to 0 gives us 3 eights are 24 and 7 ones are 7 so 24 plus 7 gives us 31 so this 3 and 7 together becomes 37 which is octal equivalent to this decimal 31 so here also 3 will be carry forwarded to the next column and 7 will be the result of our multiplication so where do we write this 7 we'll write this 7 at 8 rest to 2's place so we'll write this 7 over here and 3 will be forwarded as a carry to the next column as we have no digit left over here we'll directly write this 3 here so the multiplication of first digit of multiplier with all the digits of multiplicand is over now we'll jump to the next digit of multiplier and we'll multiply it with all the digits of multiplicand so when this 3 which is a weight of 8 raised to 1 get multiplied with 7 which is a weight of 8 raised to 0 the result of their multiplication will be 21 and the result of their weightage will be 8 raised to 1 so now this 21 is in decimal so we are going to convert it into octal so 2 into 8 is 16 and 5 into 1 is 5 so 16 plus 5 gives us 21 so together this 2 and 5 gives us 25 which is octal equivalent to this decimal 21 now here if you are getting confused in this octal to decimal conversion I have created a separate in-depth video about how to convert octal number into decimal number so if you want to clear your concept about that conversion you can refer that video the link of that video will be over here and in description so you can watch that video later right now focus over here so from this 2 phi 2 will be carry forwarded to the next column and 5 will be the result of our multiplication now where do we place this phi the place value of this phi is 8 rest to 1 so where is the 8 rest to 1 it's over here so we'll place this phi over here and where do we multiply this 3 we multiply this 3 with this 7 so 2 will be carry forwarded to the next column so 2 will be over here and yes we we'll left this place blank as it is and now we'll jump for the next multiplication but before that i want to tell you something you know to create this type of content it requires lots of work so i hope you are enjoying this octal multiplication and if your answer is yes then please hit the like button to appreciate my efforts and you can even subscribe to this channel for similar useful content so once you hit the like button let's move ahead so now here we are going to multiply these two numbers when this 3 which has a weight of 8 rest to 1 gets multiplied with this 1 which has a weight of 8 rest to 1 their multiplication will be 3 and the multiplication of their weight will be 8 raised to 2 now here we have 2 as carry so we'll add this 2 into this 3 so we get phi as final addition here this phi is less than 8 and whenever any digit which is less than 8 their octal and decimal equivalent numbers are same so because of this here we do not need to convert this number into octal number so now let's see what is the place value of this phi the place value of this phi is 8 raised to 2 so we are going to write this phi over here and now we'll multiply this 3 with the next digit of multiplicand so here this 3 into 5 gives us 15 and the multiplication of their weight is 8 raised to 3 now here this 15 is greater than 8 so we need to convert this 15 into octal number so 1 into 8 plus 7 into 1 gives us 8 plus 7 which is 15 so this 1 and 7 together makes it 17 which is octal equivalent to decimal 15 and yeah one more thing if you have any confusion in this conversion from decimal to octal you can just rewind this video previously i have explained in detail how we convert this thing so you can refer that part of the video here we are doing that thing quickly so here one will be forwarded as carry to the next column and the result of multiplication will be 7 so the place value of 7 will be 8 raised to 3 so we'll write 7 over here and this carry will directly write over here now these two are partial multiplication in order to get full multiplication we need to add these octal numbers together so now let's add them as this place is blank we'll write temporary x over here so now we'll write this 2 as it is because there is nothing to add with this 2 
this 2 is less than 8 so its octal and decimal equivalent are same so no need to convert this number into octal number now we will jump to the next column here 5 plus 3 so 5 plus 3 is 8 because there is no 8 in octal number so we are supposed to convert this decimal 8 into octal equivalent so their octal equivalent will be 10 or 1 0 in this 1 will be forwarded as carry and this 0 will be the result of addition so we will write the 0 over here and 1 will be forwarded as carry now in this column 1 plus 7 plus 5 is 13 now in this column 1 plus 7 plus 5 is 13 and this 13 is greater than 8 so we are supposed to convert this number into octal and its octal equivalent is 15 so in this 1 will be forwarded as carry and 5 will be the result of addition so we will write 5 over here and carry will be written over here now in this column 1 plus 3 plus 7 is 11 which is greater than 8 so its octal equivalent will be 13 and how it is 13 it's like this so now from this 13 1 will be forwarded as carry and 3 will be the result of addition so we will write 3 over here and 1 will be carry to the next column and finally here 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so this 2 3 5 0 2 is the multiplication of these two numbers so this is how you can do the octal multiplication here i have provided two octal multiplication example for your self practice do it now and write the answer in comments to check you got the concept correct or not so do not forget to write the answer in comments box so like this if you want to learn octal division then quickly click on this video like this if you want to learn other octal arithmetic operation or other binary arithmetic operation then you can refer this playlist and now let's jump to this video of octal division see you into the next video of octal division